What's up guys? So we're here on the legacy servers in Arcage and we're going to talk about some investment ideas for 3.0. Now that we know concretely what's happening, we've got the cash shop set up. We know what they're doing with the legacy and the fresh start and we know kind of what the drop rates are of items. So let's take a look here. First up, workers compensation potions are being removed from the cash shop. These guys are going to see an increase in value because you're not going to be able to get them anymore. These are going to be extinct, dead, gone from anywhere. You can not buy workers' compensation anymore. They are replacing them with a little bit different items in the loyalty store. But the loyalty store items now cost 25 loyalty tokens to buy one bound workers' compensation. And then 35 loyalty tokens to buy a tradable workers' compensation for, again, 1,000 labor. That's a pretty big change, and you can already notice the difference here in the last couple days. The steady increase in value of workers' compensation. It has dropped down for some odd reason, but again, it should spike back up. I guess maybe because this is just 773, and it's definitely not going to stay at 773 for the same day average. So you can see craziness. You can't really go on this because it looks like gold sellers are selling tons and tons of workers compositions as their go-to item but in generally this would be the same kind of idea a steady increase in value definitely not that high it's not going to get the 700 gold for a workers compensation it looks like it's steadily at around 165 uh, previously they were hovering around the 100 gold mark and even on these smaller guys these worker inspirations which are going away as well the price hovers between 20 to about 50 gold, it looks like, for 200 labor points. So all and any labor items should be increasing in value. Definitely, if you see any cheap ones, grab them. I don't expect them to get higher than 200 gold for a labor potion, because uh, that's just kind of crazy. There's really no way to make your money back for 200 gold for 1,000 labor. It's very, very hard to do that. The other big things that are changing are all the bundles. The bundles, like seed bundles, rice seed bundles for example, are going to be more expensive. And the higher tier bundles, not the rice, not the barley, but the higher tier ones moving on up will actually become pretty much extinct from the auction house because you're going to require a lot of proficiency to craft them. And then also, and they're already pretty much gone from the auction house as, as is. For those bundles, we're talking, talking about more like, the, say, the tomato seed bundle, the garlic seed bundle, the strawberry seed bundle, Pumpkin seed bundle, yam seed bundle, chili pepper, barley seed, or not barley. Pretty much all the tier 1 bundles are purchasable from the seed merchant generally. And then the tier 2, tier 3 ones are not. You have to purchase with vocation badges. So the bean seed bundle, quinoa seed bundle. These seed bundles now require a lot more proficiency to make. And also vocation badges to buy the basic seeds. So it's going to be harder to get. The supply won't be as severely impacted on the old legacy servers because people have tons and tons of location badges stored up but bundles right now if you can create bundles buy bundles create bundles store them up within a few months all the old bundle supply will actually dry up and these prices will jump significantly in the in the legacy servers on the fresh start servers you're going to see these bundle prices be outrageous because no one has the proficiency to create them. And then when someone does get the proficiency to create them, they're going to be the only ones selling them. That's the same thing also for the gathering bundles as well. So once again, anything pretty much tier 2 and tier 3. Tier 2 is the ones that cost 30000 currently. And tier 3 is the ones that cost 45000 currently. Those ones are pretty much vocation badge only now seeds. And creating the bundles in the new server will cost a lot more proficiency. What's even worse, though, is the husbandry. Husbandry animal pens are being nerfed to the ground. They now require 230,000 proficiency. Um, some require maybe 180,000, but in general, it's 230,000 to craft the dairy pen, the sheep pen, the, the goat pen. These guys are getting a heavy, heavy, heavy proficiency increase, and you definitely should stock up on these guys if you are in this market. If you are you know a dairy pen farmer or a goat pen farmer or sheep pen farmer you want to have these guys in stock because you're not going to be able to buy them for a while getting to 230 proficiency is going to take some time and the prices once again will be outrageous for these guys because there's very very limited supply 
The bamboo coop and duck cages, I believe, are the ones that are go to 180,000. We need more testing and more information on this. I will check it out later. But I believe these guys are all 180,000 out proficiency, and these guys are all 230,000 proficiency. So prices are going to rise because you cannot really get them anymore. Not many players have that much proficiency in the husbandry tree. Tax search should also be something that is going to see a significant increase in value because of all of the land changes. If you don't know, taxes are going up about 50% on every property you own. The first two are still base tax, but everything after that, three, four, five, the third, fourth, fifth property you own is getting a pretty sizable tax increase in 3.0. So the same properties that you had, if you had five properties beforehand that cost you, say, like 75 tax certs a week, is now going to end up costing you about 130 or so a week. That's a pretty big increase. But not only on that increase, are they are also increasing the labor that it requires to create tax certs. So it used to be five tax certs for 200 labor. Now it's going to be five tax certs for 300 labor, and that's a pretty big increase. They are increasing the proficiency discounts. So if you do have 230,000 uh, construction proficiency, you will produce tax certs cheaper than before. There will now be five tax certs for 180 labor points, and they will be tradable. But not many people have those at that, per, at that proficiency level yet, and it will take many, many weeks slash months to get up there. So expect tax certs to actually rise. We're seeing here five gold per, and it looks like the highest price has been 20 or so. Expect tax certs to see a rise probably to around the 10 gold per for the first couple weeks of 3.0. Tax certs are going to be expensive, guys. Very, very expensive. This is for legacy servers. So stock up now. Another thing that might actually increase in value is the regrade scrolls. Regrade scrolls are actually becoming harder to craft in 3.0. So they now require some proficiency to craft. I believe it's 10,000 proficiency, so you can't just have alt accounts that are just doing nothing, crafting weapon and armor regrade scrolls anymore. And it does appear that the moon point sun points are a little bit harder to get in the new 3.0. People are complaining about coin purse farming, and saying that it's not profitable at all in the higher levels. If people aren't coin purse farming, you're not going to be seeing the moon point, sun point very often, and the only way to get those will be through the loyalty store. So, armor, weapon, accessory, regrade scrolls could be going up in value. This is a sleeper. We don't know for sure if these will really go up in value, but this is definitely worth noting that these could go up in value and could see a nice increase. Anyway, guys, there's probably more things that I didn't mention. Uh, post them down below if you have other items that you think are going to go up in value. This is all, again, speculation. That's what we do here mainly on the channel. We try and keep, make you money through investment strategies, and we've got a pretty good track record. We don't always make every guess correctly, but for the most part, probably say 80 to 90% of the time, we're spot on, and we will make you money. So if you want to make money investing in items in Arcage, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I will talk to you guys later. Good luck in 3.0.